What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Spree core board I picked up at Walmart for 1997. Out of five stars, it doesn't get any stars out of zero customer reviews. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. I'm gonna show you exactly what the quality of this piece of exercise equipment is. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to store. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you exactly what types of exercises you can do on it. Now, if we take a look at the box, which actually really interesting is you can see what types of exercises you can do on it. But from what I understand, it does come with an exercise guide in the box, which is really cool. Uh, what I really like about this item is it's 16 inches in diameter and four inches high, I believe. So it should be fairly simple to store like under a bed or tucked away in a closet somewhere. Uh, if we just go ahead and flip the box around here, you just have to cut some tape off and then this little flap should just slide right open. And we're greeted with, like I said previously, the exercise guy here. So momentarily what it looks like you can do is you can do uh, incline push-ups, and it does give you some uh, instructions on how to do the incline push-ups. Not that you wouldn't know how to do incline push-ups, but it looks like it's telling you exactly uh, how long you should warm up for, how long you should wait in between intervals, uh, which should optimize uh, muscle tone, right? Uh, it looks like you can do lunges, crunches. If we flip over here, you get an array of other exercises that you can do. You can stand on it with one leg. That looks really difficult. I'll be interested to try some of these exercises out just to show you how hard or how easy they are. Uh, I am assuming all of them will be hard because they are all going to require uh, balance, which I don't have. And then last but not least, if we just pull this little handle, what's really nice is the handle was actually faced towards the opening. Uh, that was very thoughtful, which made it really easy to pull out. You can see that it's sort of dome shaped on the bottom here. Uh, it's actually a sort of rubber. It's not, you cannot press it in. So, you know, I wouldn't want to sit on that, like use it as an exercise ball. Which was interesting because in the description on Walmart's website, it did say you could flip this over and use it that way. But yeah, if you were thinking that this was sort of like an exercise ball, like I did on the opposite side, you would be mistaken. Uh, it's got two handles here. Uh, very surprised at this construction. It is seemingly of pretty high quality for only 19 bucks. Looks like the um, top of the board is just sort of clamped down into place, you can see by all of these little uh, clips here, these red clips that the top of the board is just sort of snapped into place. So we'll see how good of quality and how long this thing lasts. And then uh, on top, you get the Spree logo uh, with some very nice concentric circle grips uh, that should make it really easy to stand on. Uh, trust me, standing on this with one leg or even two legs is probably going to be next to impossible the first time you get this. Uh, but what's really nice is they do have uh, good tread in mind, so you shouldn't be slipping off this thing and injuring yourself that way. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see exactly how you use this, and let's see exactly the types of places you can store this core board in. Okay guys, so it's pretty lightweight describe the weight online but I'm holding with one hand here and it's, it's actually really nice you can pretty much carry it anywhere but uh, we've got this couch in our kitchen here let's go ahead and see if you can fit under this couch you know it's a little bit too high for the couch um, let's go ahead and just see if we can't fit this in the closet here yeah that's a pretty good spot for it. Maybe flip it around. But yeah, as you can see, uh, you could pretty much just put it in the closet. So we're gonna see if it fits underneath the bed here. And as you can see, it just slides right underneath there, which is really awesome. All right, now that I've showed you exactly where you can basically put this thing, which is, like I said, anywhere, right? Let's go ahead and do some exercises on it. 
Okay, so one thing I want to say real quick is, first of all, I'm a little bit strapped for space in this house. There's really not a lot of wide open space, but if you're going to be working out on something like this, don't work out around a kitchen counter or anything like that if you're going to stand on it uh, because you could fall off and hit your head on the counter or something like that. So always, if you're going to stand on this thing, work out on it in a wide open space where if you fall over, uh, you're not going to hit your head on anything. So yeah, I just wanted to make that really clear. Uh, the first exercise I want to do is try to stand on this with one leg, just like in the instruction. Uh, whoa okay oh my god <laughs> okay that's really difficult but i can already feel the strain that it's putting on the core <clears throat> okay so as you can see i'm really shaking uh that's on my left leg by the way that's just simply because I don't have any core whatsoever. By the way, this can support up to 275 pounds. Okay, I'm getting a little bit better on my right hand side. As you can see, it's sort of breaking in a little bit. Uh, I'm not really standing all that balanced. I'm kind of all over the place, but I think if I just relax a little bit, I could probably just stand a little bit more upright. There we go. There we go. Okay, so next thing I want to show you are push-ups. So uh, you can use them like this. One. Oh my God. Two. Ugh. Three. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so when you do push-ups, I am out of breath because it really does work out your core. What you wanna do is you wanna be as balanced as possible on the spree core board because that will give you the best results. You don't wanna be rocking back and forth when you're doing your push-ups. You wanna be solid and even. Let's do some lunges. Okay, so I think I was doing the lunges wrong. You want to have it sort of out like this. And you want to have your you want to have your foot on it like this and you want to go like this. That's how you do lunges. Okay, so that is miles more difficult than how I was doing it just a minute ago. Yeah. You really have to balance with the leg that's on the spree core board to get a good lunge in. But as you can see, it works out your hamstrings really, really well, works out your glutes really well. And there's also a bit of a cardio factor in there because you're like trying to stay as calm and as still as possible to get the best workout. Anyways guys, because I picked up the Spree core board at Walmart for $19.97, that makes it a big box good. I'll leave a link in the description where you can check it out if this is something you're interested in. This is great for home workouts. Looks like you can work out your legs and your upper body, which is really nice. And you can pretty much store this anywhere. Anyways, guys, my name is John. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, my name is John. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.